Hi, this is Gary Rogowski for the Northwest Woodworking Studio, a school for woodworkers in Portland, Oregon. Today's topic, dovetails. Let's talk dovetails. The symbol of woodworking excellence, and yet it makes young woodworkers quake in their boots. Why? It's simple. It's straightforward. It just takes practice. Practice is all you need. And I can show you in five minutes how to cut your first dovetail. Let me show you. Now this exercise is one I call a five-minute dovetail. This is what you'll need for a five minute dovetail. You'll need some scrap, uh, make it out of something soft, alder, poplar, something like that. Make it fairly thin, half inch to five eighths of an inch thick, about two inches wide, about three inches long. So, make up some scrap. You'll need a sharp pencil, sharp pencil. You'll need a back saw or dovetail saw of some variety. There's the Japanese style pull saw or the European style push. You'll need a coping saw to remove some waves. And finally, you'll need a chisel and mallet for chopping out the dovetails. Have a bench hook, too, to protect your bench, and that'll, that'll be good. Okay, we're ready. Let's mark these out. Hold one board against the other, and mark out the thickness of the stock on the first piece on all four sides. On the second, just the two faces will work. And with these marked, we can start sawing. Put the board in the vise, nice and straight, and start a cut on the reverse stroke <coughs> that it normally gets. Lay a line across the end grain, and then tip the saw over to 81 and a half degrees. No, no, not too much, not too little. Get the same cut started on the other side. It doesn't matter what this is cut at because whatever happens here, you're going to mark out onto the other piece. So, get your two cuts made straight across at your angle. And setting the saw on the waist side of the pencil line. Saw straight down. Do the same thing on the other side. Now take a look at your tail piece. If there's any variation, if it's a little wider on one side than the other, it shouldn't be. But if it is, make that the outside. Okay. Now it's time to mark out your tail onto your pin board. Line up those shoulders on this inside face. And mark that out. And then the pin board goes in the vise. The saw now is angled to the face. But your saw cuts are straight up and down. Okay. So what I look at when I'm sawing and I'm creating that kerf is the corner or edge of the board. And my kerf will line up parallel with that. Don't saw past that bottom line. Now it's time to remove the waste. I use a coping saw. Get the cut started and then gradually Make a curve. You get down pretty close to that baseline. Great. Time to start chopping. Pay attention to this. Keep your hands behind the business end of your chisel and you'll always be safe. I start by chopping out at the end of the waist and it just blows away with each cut of the chisel. Halfway down and get pretty close to the line and then flip it over. Notice that I'm working here on the bench hook so that I don't put chopping cuts in my bench. Now let's lay it right down on the pencil line and finish up our cuts. Back in the vise. Let's clean up the corners. And then a five minute dovetail. 
Five Minute Dovetails. It's a great way to learn how to cut dovetails, but it's also a great way to just warm up. I come into the shop sometimes and cut some of these just to be here in the shop and get my head straight. It's not precious. Have fun with it. Au revoir.